Good day and welcome back. Happy Sunday. How are you and your loved ones? Welcome back. I'm really excited to see you. Thank you for joining me. The focus today is God rested. So should you. <laughs> you will agree with me that it is very essential that we took breaks once in a while to give ourselves time to spend with our families, to rest, rejuvenate, be restored, freshen, be inspired, to just live life away from all the hustle and bustling that we would normally run after. So this, the intention of this presentation is solely to encourage us to always never forget ourselves. Remember that rest is part of God's plan for our life cycle. We must learn from the plants. Remember how when they planted, the shoots pops out of the earth, the plant grows, flowers, bears fruits, leaves fall off, many of them die, dry up, only to start the process again. They give the earth time to rest. We must rest. If you decide not to rest, you're probably hoping for people to lay you to rest. I'm afraid. So deliberately plan your rest time. This is important. Otherwise, you will have yourself to blame. There's nobody else who would do this for anyone. We have to deliberately make out the time to rest from all the activities that are there for us to attend to. Trust me, the world will keep running. All those things you think that without you, they would stop, the world would end. <laughs> Take a break, they would keep going. Take a break, rest. We're told in Genesis chapter 2, verse 2, and in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 4, on the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. God rested. Who is, a, who is the best role model for us to emulate? but our Father in heaven. If he found it necessary to rest after his work of creation, what excuse have you got to not rest from work, from your business, your career, the profession, whatever thing you're pursuing, rest is part of our life cycles. Sleep was invented for a reason. God says he gives his beloved sleep. So if you do not take the time you're cheating yourself. Burning the candles on both ends only leads to you being bent out eventually. And then you're not able to attend to all the gazillion things that you thought couldn't carry on without you. Rest. Psalm 37 verse 7 says, rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Let us learn to rest. Perhaps someone is saying, oh, God rested after he finished his work. Are you God? And remember, God finished his work of creation. I am very certain God was busy attending to other things apart from creating. But he rested from creation, all of his work of creation. So do not, you are not God. We, we, we have to be here to finish if you refuse to rest and then something happens to you 
because you intended to finish everything before you rested. You wouldn't be here to finish anyways. So take a break. Rest, my dear friend. It is your right. Do not cheat yourself. Let us learn to go to God and rest in him because that's what the psalmist says. Let us wait, rest in him and wait patiently on him. In God's presence, we get renewed, invigorated, inspired with fresh ideas for the journey ahead. Let's run to him all the time. Of course, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 says, he will give us rest. And those who come to him, learn to go to God. Do not cheat yourself any longer. Rest is part of the process. Take it. You deserve it. You've worked very hard. Copy God. Rest. I thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon. Never forget that Jesus is coming soon. We must be prepared. God bless you. Bye for now.